Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, it's funny to me, honestly, because you know, on this channel, on the comment section, I get a lot of people saying certain things about me. People, some, some people say, "Well, Brendan, you criticize Andre Ward too much. You criticize Floyd Mayweather too much. You criticize PBC too much." Now, I have been very critical of PBC in the past. I have no problem showing you guys all the videos of me criticizing PBC in one way or another but I actually want to take the time to give PBC some credit for what's going to, what they put together on Tuesday because um, their total their total to Tuesday series it, 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 um, it's pretty cool I watch it every now and then but there really aren't that many fights that I get like real excited about I just kinda watch it and whatever I see I see but this Tuesday there's a fight on their card um, on their Tuesday card that I'm very excited about because it features two guys two of their prospects that you know I've seen boy both fight multiple times and they're both prospects that you know if this is the type of match that I, I actually criticize PBC for not having because I always say well wow how come you can't get this prospect was undefeated and that prospect was undefeated and have them fight each other so we can weed out who's who in the division and, and, and where in your stable of fighters and now we're gonna get that we're gonna get one of those kind of fights which is honestly I want to say thank you Al Haven, thank you PBC for making this fight good fight um, on the Toto Toto Tuesday card. Now the fight I'm talking about is going to feature uh, Ryan Carl and Jose Felix Quesada. Roy Ryan Carl is um, currently 12-0 with eight knockouts. Jose Felix Quesada is currently 11-0 uh, with six knockouts. Now when we look at both of these guys, neither one of them has faced great opposition. They they're both kind of that in that career building stage, just getting their rounds in, experience in, getting some wins under their belt to get their confidence up. But for both of them. This fight right here represents the first true test in their boxing career. Now, this will be an eight-round fight. Um, Ryan Carl is a welterweight. He's, he was campaigning at welterweight in his last couple of fights. He's actually making the concessions, and he's coming down to 140. And Quesada, who's been campaigning at 140, uh, will fight him, you know, at 140. Um, but to make to also to also. Uh, important to note that when Ryan Carl did turn pro, which was back in 2014, so not long ago, just only less than two, just two years ago, you know, he was he came he turned pro as a 140 pounder. So I don't think it's a crazy move. You know, it's a, it's something he could definitely do with the right training, get back down to that weight. But I think it's going to be a great fight because here you have Quesada, whose body has settled into the weight. Um, I believe you know he he was campaigning at Quesada was campaigning at 135 as early as last year, so his body's had time to settle into 140. Carl's fought at 140 before, so weight wise, this should be a good fight for both of them. Now, when you look at the dimensions of both fighters, you need know, to talk about Felix Quesada. He's five foot nine with a 72 inch reach. Carl's five foot ten with a 72 inch reach. Measurables are very comparable, and um, you know it's funny because Carl. Um, you would think that Carl, Ryan Carl, has been a guy that, you know, you, you really don't know, like, because like, Carl has a higher knockout percentage, but when we look at Quesada's record, I mean, he flat, his last fight he fought a guy named Cameron Creel. Now, when we look at a guy like Cameron Creel's record, Cameron Creel was like 8 and 10 and 2. Not a very good fighter, but uh, on re record wise, but Cameron Creel is a guy, it's like one of those fighters where, you know, you don't have the right management and you kind of got thrown to the wolves. <laughs> So he's fighting, you know, a bunch of like undefeated uh, prospect type dudes, and and you know he just hasn't had a chance to succeed. So when you watch that fight, Jose Quesada versus Cameron Creel, Creel is a guy that definitely fought better than his record would have indicated, and Quesada looked good in that fight. He was he was landing a lot of good shots, but um, he just wasn't able to get Creel out of there, and that fight was actually ruled the majority decision. So one judge even had it a draw. Um, so I'm interested to see for Quesada because that's the type of opponent that if you are a really good prospect, you should blast out of there. And he wasn't able to, to finish the job, so I was looking to see if he could finish, but he couldn't do that. I, think, I thought he could have been a little, little bit more patient, but um, it, that comes with time. But he's going to have to really be patient this fight with Carl because both these guys have good amateur experience. Like Quesada won the Golden Gloves uh, in 2009 in Chicago. Um, in, at, in his weight class and then he also was the three time silver glove champion coming up as well um, you know so Quesada has a pretty decorated amateur background in Chicago one of the more decorated boxers to come out of there in a while 
Ryan Carl, on the other hand, in 2003, he was uh, he got a bronze medal at the U.S. Championships, National Championships, and he was the top, it was ranked top three um, at 141 uh, while he was an amateur, uh, and this is across America. So both these guys have good amateur pedigree. Both these guys are right on the level. Both these guys have fought at 140, have campaigned at 140. Um, so honestly, I gotta say, good fight, good, really good fight for PBC. Um, I think it should be a good scrap, and I'm looking forward to seeing who comes out on top. You know, um, I saw Felix, Jose Felix Quesada fight actually here in South Florida, because as you guys know, I'm from the South Florida area. Quesada fought on the Arizona Lara undercard, and that was actually um, the last stoppage victory he had. He beat uh, Daniel Lorenzo or something like that. Stopped him in like the first or the second round. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, shout out to PBC for making this one. Um... And uh, like, like, like I said, if you guys are on TV and trying to watch some good boxing on Tuesday, I really don't know about the other fights on the card. I really don't care too much for them. But that right there is the fight you need to check out. So check it out. If you guys have time, Ryan Carl, Jose Quesada, two undefeated, solid prospects, putting the roles on the line, fighting each other on PBC. So check it out. Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.